So the National Construction Code 2022 contains a major new change around livable or accessible housing. These changes have been discussed at length over the past decade and building ministers have agreed to implement these changes into NCC 2022. Not all states and territories are adopting them, but the majority are. Others will give consideration potentially at a later stage, NCC 2025. But the changes contain six core elements to them. And they affect not only the design of the home, but the layout of the home, and also the materials that are used to, create, to build the home. They also go beyond the front door of the dwelling and affect things like the pathway into the dwelling itself and even potentially driveways. So what are the six core elements? So the six core elements include element one, a step-free path to travel from the property boundary to a front or entrance door, no greater than five millimeters and the path needs to be a minimum width as well. The second core element is to having a step-free entrance and wider doorway into the dwelling essentially an 870 millimeter door. The third element is having wider hallways and wider doorways on the ground or entrance level. So essentially meter wide hallways and corridors and having those 870 doors essentially or 820 clear opening width doors on the ground or entrance level to your habitable rooms. The fourth core element is having a minimum of one toilet on the ground or entrance level and that toilet can either be in its own room, like a powder room, or in a combined bathroom, but it has to have minimum width requirements and circulation spaces in front of the pan, exclusive of things like the door swing or vanities or the like. The fifth core element is having one step-free and hobless shower within the dwelling. And the sixth core element is about having a, the reinforcement to the walls surrounding, so either sheeting or noggining, to the walls surrounding the compliant toilet and shower to allow for the future installation of grab rails. There are different options, particularly for that first element, about how you do your step-free entrance into the dwelling, and that could be potentially via an interconnecting garage or carport, rather than a front entrance path. But in that circumstance, the garage or carport would need to be of a larger size. There are some also some exemptions from meeting these step-free provisions for say, steep blocks or for higher set houses, but they are only an exemption from that step-free path and you would have to meet all other provisions of these livable housing provisions once you're inside the dwelling. Lastly, I will mention that these provisions will apply in those states that are adopting to all new class one homes. That means all versions of a house, be it a standalone house, a townhouse, a granny flat, a row house, it will apply to all of those, not a percentage of them, to all of them. It will also apply to major renovations and extensions, and it will also apply to apartments.